Back to being the odds. It is Sunday, April 7th, 2024, and we are back with our MLB best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NHL videos every single day, along with the NBA, college basketball, and the MLB. We're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have y'all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, thank God we hit our best bet. Let me just put it that way. We went 1-3 yesterday. Members only best bet was the Raves team. The Raves. The Braves team total over 4.5. Uh, that was a winner. I mean, by the way, what a comeback by them. That was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the Braves team total 4.5 hitting like the 4th or 5th inning. So you love to see that. Tigers minus 1.5. They look like shit. I mean, holy crap. And honestly, I think I, made a, I, said, I had a rant about John Fisher yesterday the uh, owner for the A's and how shitty he is and all that stuff. Maybe it's one of those things the A's had to win, um, had to win a few games given the fact to show like, hey, we can be competitive. And it was more of a, because John Fisher would want them to lose. So maybe him, them winning actually makes it worse. So I think, I think John Fisher reverse jinxed himself, which is interesting. Uh, Astros money line, they don't look right. The Astros do not look right whatsoever right now. They're always a slow start to the season for the most part, but they do not look right. Um, the Rangers really put it on them yesterday. Um, then we had the Orioles money line. That was absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, a comeback. They absolutely should have won that game. I mean, there's just so much. I mean, they could have easily won that game, and they just did not. So, overall for the year, though, we're doing a good job. We're 28-19, and 8-6 in best bets. So, I mean, we're having a good good start to the season. And we have four plays today in the MLB. We have three I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube. And we also have a members-only best bet that I love today, along with two members-only plays in the NBA. One in the NHL. You can get those at ZDMBets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all our members only plays every single day, which most profitable best bets on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you do have a direct line to me. So any game you're concerning betting, reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're concerning betting. Any deal our free picks do on YouTube sent to you before these videos come out. Now take advantage of early lines, early odds. Go to the website ZDMBets.com slash picks, ZDMBets.com slash picks, ZDMBets.com slash picks. So let's get into the plays that we have today. I'm going to start with our first play, which would be the Reds' money line at minus 110 versus the Mets. For me, I like Abbott over Manea. I, I do. I think Abbott played well last year. He was, he was, he was one of the bright spots in the pitching staff uh, for the Reds last year. But here's the really the biggest thing. First off, the Mets do have a bullpen advantage, but the starting pitching is a big deal. So I like to see the I like I like the Reds there. The bullpen advantage goes to the Mets, but it's not much of one. But when you look at this team, the biggest difference here is this: is that the Reds lineup is fucking stacked, and they're not even healthy. Uh, I mean, if you go one through seven on this team, it is a really, really, really good lineup. They got a couple holes at the end of it, but when they get to the guys back that are injured, they're going to be very, 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 very good. Um, and the Mets just their lineup just doesn't look, doesn't look good to me. It just it, they don't they don't strike fear in anyone. I mean, if when your best <clears throat> when your best players are Francisco Lindor and Pete Alonso, I mean, there's not really much at least today anyway. Um, and also the other thing is the Reds vibes are like so much higher than the Mets. Now, I know people are gonna give me shit like you're betting on vibes. Like no, but like. Think about it. I mean, the Mets just look like total dog shit. No, there's no optimism whatsoever for the season. It's all pessimism. And the and the Reds, on the other hand, have a ton of optimism, and they have a lot of they, they have a lot of excitement for the future. While the Mets' biggest, I mean, in all reality, if you're a Mets fan, the the thing that will probably give you the most joy is if they go out and they blow the whole thing up this one, this uh, this coming uh, this coming October. So I don't really know how you get excited for this team with the Mets anyway. The Reds are going to go in there. They're going to fucking kill them. I'll roll with the Reds here in my line, minus 110 versus the Mets. Next, we're going to go with the Orioles. Money line, minus 122 versus the Pirates. I think yesterday was more of a fluke than anything else. I like Kramer over Gonzalez. Gonzalez had a good start uh, for the Pirates last time out, but I think he was going, to, if I remember correctly, he was going against the Nationals, and the Nationals don't exactly aren't exactly good right now. As a Nationals fan, I can say that. They're fucking terrible, the Nationals are, and he had a really good start against the Nationals when they played. Um, but... I like Kramer over him. Kramer always steps up in big games. It's a rubber match of a three-game series, so I think he's going to play well. And I like the Orioles' pen a hell of a lot more like the Pirates. Once the Orioles got into the Pirates' pen yesterday, they absolutely blew him up. They scored a million runs. Oh, not a million, but they, you know, they came back and ended up, ended up tying the game going to extras. 
Uh, the Orioles lineup is substantially better than the Pirates lineup. The Orioles had a bad day yesterday. I mean, they're just loaded with young talent everywhere you look. They just look awesome. Um, and the Pirates, here's the thing. The Pirates right now, I think, are six and two so far for the year. They have a, they, they have started very, very well, but they're not a good team. They do this every, the last two years in a row, they have started out hot. And they have been, and they have been one of the worst teams in the MLB by the end of the season. I think the same thing happens here. They have not gone against real competition. The Orioles are the closest thing to great competition they've played um, this entire year. I'm going to roll with the Orioles here because they actually are a good team. That's the difference. The Pirates could be good. The Orioles are actually good. So I'll go with the Orioles here in my line minus 122 uh, versus the Pirates. I like it. I like starting pitching like lineup. And then we're going to go with a little money line parlay. I'm going to go with the Braves money line plus the Tigers money line parlay today. Um, you get this at plus 124 odds. Um, first off, Braves versus D-backs. Let's talk about this one. First off, the Braves are off, of, uh, are off a major comeback win yesterday. Vibes are high in that in that, in that, uh, in that dugout. Uh, sales on the mound today. I like him a hell of a lot better than I like Nelson for the D-backs. Nelson for the D-backs was one of, the, one of their worst pitchers last year. Um, other than Fat, who played yesterday, and they scored a ton of runs on him. Um, the Braves bullpen take over the Dimeback. Dimebacks also had to go through a million arms yesterday because they had a, because of just the knocking them out and like the Braves. The Braves made most of their moves during the with the bullpen. Uh, yeah, against the against the D backs bullpen yesterday, excuse me. Um, and the Braves lineup, I like more than the D backs. Not to say the D backs lineup is bad, it's very, very good. I mean, really good. But the Braves are just slightly better because they have more pop in the lineup. They, the, if it was about contact, it's about the same. The power, though, in the Braves lineup, Braves lineup is why they were able to come back yesterday and why they're so freaking good. Um, <clears throat> and the D backs, yes, are very good, but they burned through arms yesterday. They're playing a subpar pitcher, and their lineup is slightly worse than the Braves. Plus, the Braves are playing at home. Braves always play well at home. So I'm going to roll with the Braves here um, with that leg of the parlay. The second leg is going to be the Tigers' money line. I think they're going to bounce back today against the A's. The A's are not a good team. They may have, I may have, I may have mushed myself yesterday, but I'm, getting, I'm taking the money line here. And when you look at the Tigers, um, <clears throat> if you look at them, they, they played bad yesterday, specifically on the offensive end. I think that I think their pitching actually was pretty freaking good, um, but I, I think they were I think they were pretty solid yesterday pitching wise. But the fact is, when you don't score at all, that's what's going to happen. Plus, Jack Flattery's on the mound, who was pretty solid last year um, for the for the Tigers. And um, I'm not a big fan of the A's in general. I mean, I, I already talked about John Fisher, so I'm not going to bore. I'm not going to do this whole rant again. But I don't really like him as a manager. I hope that they lose. And honestly, I just think that the, the the Tigers are a better overall team than the A's are. That's not saying much, but they're going to win here today at home. Now, like I said, we do have four members only plays today. You can get those at zdmbets.com slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. But guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check those other videos.